This year, the Kim Crowley Initiative and our board of directors were uh, delighted to add to our array of uh, award honorees recognition of a mitigation specialist. And it is the intention of the Fair Trial Initiative to continue in future years to recognize this important member of the Capital Trial Team. To present tonight's first mitigation award, uh, mitigation award Diane Savage. Diane. Uh, 
this time they did something called radio surgery, and I can vividly remember when she called me about it. And um, it sounded like an excruciating procedure to go through, but the B in the SBI kept coming through, and yes, the I was quickly following. So what about the S? Well, Kara is certainly someone special. When she was pregnant, she was at the home of a victim's family who didn't want the death penalty. And she finally had to say, okay, look, something's wrong, I, I need to get out of here. And she wasn't kidding. By the time she got home, the war broke. But she literally worked up until the time the baby was born. So you have to be a pretty special person to do that. Well, some years ago, I finally got to cross over from being a friend of Carrie's to actually working on cases with her. First hand, I saw how methodically she did her investigations, gathering information from clients and family members who dared not talk to anybody about the intimate secrets that only Kara could really uncover. And that information is obviously what all of these are clients' lives. Her children, Walker and Painter, my buddies, simply describe Kara in this way, nice and happy. Who wouldn't want to work with someone with those qualities? Well, from all the comments that people told me about Kara, it's clear that Kara has carried her social work training and experience to a new level doing mitigation work. I'm fortunate to be working with her again on a case that's going to trial in March. And as you all know, the weight of defending a death penalty case is only mitigated by the choice of the defense team. And thank you, buddy, for choosing Kara to be on our team. And I know that I can say that on behalf of our entire team, many of who are here tonight, Michael Dreyer, and FTI fellow Anthony Trotter, who my husband fondly refers to as Tony T. Um, and Tony T uh, emailed me and said that if he's ever charged with capital murder, he wants Carol on the case. And all I can say, good luck, Anthony, because I'm not even sure he can help you. I'm not sure. Anyway, without any further ado, let me just say I am so honored to be able to present this first FTI mitigation award to my close friend, colleague, and the very special, brave, and inspirational woman, Kara Richardson. 